you out on the wing. Trent, I want you to fake the pass to Annie and push the ball up the field and then pass the ball to your forwards who are Sophie and Chris. Sophie, I want you to hold the ball and draw the defense out to you, all right? Then I want you to float a lob pass all the way over the defense to Chris. Chris, you take it in for the score, just like we did in practice. Everybody got it? Let's go get them! <laughs> Do you see any similarities between Saturday morning soccer and Monday morning at the office? I mean, think about it. Too often, teams and organizations are unclear about the goals their top priorities really are. Coaches and players are simply not on the same page. What you get is everyone just kind of running around in all directions instead of working together toward the same goal. The inability to take high-level goals and strategies of an organization and then to translate those into action is a major problem in most organizations. It's one thing to come up with great strategies and goals, but it's quite another to actually get them done. This is what we could call the execution gap. In a landmark study done by the Harris Polling Group, we discovered some revealing statistics as to why execution breaks down and why goals aren't translated into action on the front line. First finding, only 15% of those surveyed can actually identify their organization's most important goals or top priorities. Either there are too many goals, or they change too often, or they simply don't have any. And in most cases, they are vastly undercommunicated. Just because the leaders are clear on what they want to achieve, it doesn't necessarily mean that the front line where the action really happens knows what the goals are. After all, in a very real sense, the front line produces the bottom line. Second, people may know what the goals are, but too often they haven't bought into them. Only 19% surveyed say that they feel passionate about the top goals of their organizations. That's only one in five. There are a number of reasons for this, but the primary one is that they feel no ownership. They don't feel that they have input into what it's going to take to achieve the goal. They simply aren't emotionally connected to the goal. No involvement, no commitment. Third, those surveyed reported that they spend only 49% of their available work hours on their most important goals. The rest of the time is spent on urgent, but far less important activities. They get so distracted by urgent things that they neglect the most important things. Finally, people might know what the goals and top priorities are. They might even buy into them, but they don't know what they are supposed to do about them. In fact, 51% state that they personally do not understand what they are supposed to do to help the organization achieve its goals. Goals will not be executed until everyone clearly understands what the goal is and what they themselves specifically need to do to meet that goal. Once people are clear on what the goal is, then and only then are they free to try new 
and better ways to reach that goal. So the point is, to achieve goals you've never achieved before, you simply need to start doing things you've never done before. You might ask, is it possible to dramatically and measurably improve your team's ability to reach its goals? Can it really happen? My answer is absolutely. Just imagine the impact when everyone on the team is crystal clear about what the goals are. Imagine the energy and creativity that would be unleashed when everyone in the organization is committed and involved in achieving the goals. Consider the economic impact when everyone on the team is spending the majority of their time on top priorities. Just think what can be accomplished when every player on the team knows exactly what to do. The possibilities, my friends, are limitless.